Hello traders out there in trader land, my name's Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Wednesday, June 8th, 2011, and the markets are under continued pressure. Here we have the Dow down 0.18%, the SP down 0.4%, NASDAQ down almost a full percent, more than that on small caps, the Russell's down 1.2%, and banks are down, the VIX up almost 4%. Gold and silver down, U.S. dollar up, almost a half a percent. Crude oil spiking up 2%. OPEC is leaving their output on hold. They're looking to increase output, but they have that on hold, and that really has caused oil to get out of control. But here we are on a six-bar down leg on the S&P daily we've just come crashing down but we do see it rolling over here and after an extension to the downside on six uh, bars I think that we should be looking forward to some sort of relief rally here um, the question then will be where will this resistance be but we are starting a downtrend right now and uh, with that I think it's uh, it's too soon to go bearish here. We need to wait for it to rally back, see what type of strength that we get on some sort of rally, and then perhaps look to start going bearish. Let me show you something on the weekly chart. Blow this up so we can really see this dude. Um, we come um, higher swing highs, a higher swing high, but this one slumped over, giving us a rising wedge. And then there we have broke down. Several weeks now we've been... Um, in the red but you see this major swing here major swing or this is a minor swing low kind of a pivot area here major swing low on the weekly chart so this area the 1280 is pretty big and we're at 1279 but I see an an, an are like a bottom at 1276 so watch 1276 on the weekly coming across if I go here to the daily the 1276 coincides here with um, this area right there so this is something we want to watch quite closely and and that's where we're at right here so as far as the markets are concerned uh, we do continue to take heat. Hasn't um, surprised any of us here. We saw it starting to roll over. We started breaking down. We had a chance for this to become a bull flag of breakout, but it just blew up on, on the charts here. So now we are decisively below the moving averages. And at this moment, um, I do see a slowing of the pace to the downside. It would be interesting to see if we do challenge this 1276 area going into tomorrow and then see if we get some sort of bounce at the end of week and going into next week. However, could this continue to break down? The answer is absolutely. So you need to be very careful out there in the markets and do not jump the gun thinking that this is the time to run back in with all your long positions or to unload any hedges that you have because you might be doing that prematurely and we certainly don't want to do that. So this morning, I had a problem uploading my morning video, so I apologize on that. And tomorrow night I am doing a, a webinar, and the webinar is specifically on an upcoming mentorship that we have. We have one live. It's our first live mentorship we've done in some time in Vegas coming up, and then um, and then an online one. we got a couple of those that we're working on, and if you'd like to know more about it tomorrow night, and feel free to join us. All you do is go to calendar. And once you go to the calendar, click on tomorrow's date, and that would be June 9th, and just get registered, and you'll get your invite. Take care and safe trading to you.